Ladies and gentlemen, Jay and Sham in particular, a very good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'll begin with uh, something that I gathered at the Toastmasters International event. Uh, one of the education sessions was on club building by Lance Miller, who was the 2005 world champion of public speaking. And he was saying that the first thing, the first prerequisite when you start a club meeting is the venue. You've got to make sure it's an inviting place, it has to be set up well, it has to be ready for business. And boy, were we prepared and ready to take off this evening? Of course we were. I came in at about 6.10, <coughs> chairs were arranged, the banners were up, the mic was installed, everything was in place so that when guests arrived, we could have just started a business. So, that was a spotless start and I'd like to congratulate the entire team for getting this done. Let's give them an applause. Now, before I start giving my feedback, again, this is what I learned for, about feedback from the convention. There was this interesting um, Toastmaster in that convention from Adelaide, his name was Darren Fleming. I don't know whether you met them, uh, uh, You met him, right? Darren Fleming. Well, you know, he told me a few things about evaluation. One, that feedback is important not just for the speaker, but also for the club. Because if the quality of evaluation is good, you will retain more members. If the quality of evaluation isn't good, I mean, people will come and see that, oh, you're not really getting much out of it. So that's something that the committee could keep in mind uh, when they appoint evaluators uh, in, in various meetings, in our meetings, uh, because we want the, the quality of evaluation. If you think that's the most important part of our meeting, we want the quality of evaluation to be really, really good. Now, this guy, Darren Fleming, he says there are four kinds of evaluators. One is the white washer. They are overflowing with praise, you know. They don't really give any specifics. They're like, oh, it was superb. What a wonderful speech. Are you just bowled me over? Blah, blah, blah. They mean well. It's just that they don't want to hurt the speaker. They got a repeater. They just repeat part of speech. Right? And then they will end by saying, oh, that was so good. We all enjoy it. That could have been better, but again, no specifics. Then you've got a grower. He is, or he or she is a good evaluator. Right? Solid ideas. They've even demonstrated. And then, you've got champion evaluators. Everybody wants to get evaluated by these people. Why? Because they have insights which no one else picks up. And that's where we need to be. They, don't, they go beyond eye contact and body language. Right? They give you some of the steps that would elevate you to a different level altogether. So with that, let me begin my evaluation. And maybe you can judge whether I'm a whitewasher or a repeater or a grower or a champion. All right. Okay. Let's start with um, Sergeant at Arms, Sahil. Where's Sahil? Oh, there you go. I loved your style. You were nice and confident. You're just probably just three months into the Toastmaster journey. And I've seen the way you evolved. Absolutely, really good work. But if I were to offer you some suggestions, uh, you know, when you start, I've seen all Sergeant and Arms would say, Welcome to meeting number 917. Is that number important? Who cares? Welcome to this meeting, right? That's, that's administrative. I mean, that's what I would do. And don't start saying, oh, you know, these are the rules. You know, you've got to follow three rules. Do you like to follow rules? Who likes, right? Rule number one, rule number two, rule number... Just state it. God. Keep your phones. Don't, don't walk around while you're saying, without really saying, these are the rules, right? Um, and then, never say, I was thinking, right? 
because no one's interested in what you're thinking. People have come here to gain something. So whatever you're thinking, just say what you're thinking, rather than start a sentence by I was thinking. Um, so you could say, you know, and then go to the story. So um, uh, I think you said we have, uh, yeah, and then you can just straight away go to the st story. It says, I was thinking uh, this evening, you know, there is this very important person in, in amidst us, etc. You could have straight away said, we have someone who is known for his perseverance, right? And then got into uh, introducing the president. But you know what? A wonderful job done. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> and then we had Mujassim with uh, uh, the minutes of the meeting. Not quite in order, but I've seen how meticulous you are with it. So uh, you are very assiduous, very meticulous. Keep up your good work. Uh, but when you are presenting your minutes, it doesn't have to be a, a monotonous thing. You can make that interesting too by you know, varying your, your, your voice and uh, need not be uh, monotonous. You could say, the meeting started at 6.35 and then we had, so all the principles that you have picked up of speaking, voice and, and uh, a pause here and there, would just add to your delivery. So don't uh, don't lose that opportunity to do that. But really well done. Congratulations. And let's give it <laughs> And then we had the president. Mm. What can I say? You've seen him. You've seen him on several occasions. He is. Flawless, and he is truly an inspiration for all of us. He gripped us with a personal story straight away. Right? There was dialogue in it. There was his usual humor. He lightened up the atmosphere straight away, and we got off to a very good start. And he also brought in some intrigue, right? Um, when he when he was talking about Columbus. Who's this person he's talking about? Uh, names in so many cities and countries. And, and then he brought in Columbus. That was so well done. Um, and then, of course, he introduced the MC brilliantly. So, Rajdi, really well done. What can I say? You were just perfect. So, let's give him a hand. <laughs> if I were to suggest something, you know, it could have been. Um, just before you you uh, narrated was, um, that poem, you said, I have, uh, I'm going to tell you a few small lines. Uh, you could just have said a few lines instead of small lines. But, just for All right. And then we had the MC. Now, Vinay is a good friend of mine. Do you want a varnished? Feedback or an unvarnished feedback? <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> a, a glossy feedback or a matte finish? A polished one. A polished one, right? Well, you know, tell me, I haven't heard it from Vinay. Uh, unvarnished or varnished? Oh, great, that's what I like. Look, it's all very easy, particularly if you're a newcomer, it's good to give the income. But you know, sometimes you're told, oh, but we're Toastmasters, you know, we've got to keep encouraging each other. But you know, sometimes you've got to tell the truth, you know, to kind of lift the guy up. But um, look, Vinay, as I said the first time I met you, I like your style. You're polished, you're smooth, um, you, you've got a presence on the stage which is uniquely yours. Um, but if I were to suggest something, um, remember the point where you came in. The president had this wonderful speech, introduced the story, introduced the theme. He got us right up there with the humor and intrigue and all that. What did you do when you came in? What were your first few statements? Good to see you all, right? 
then you spoke about the room, and, you know, some people sitting here, some people sitting there. Thank you for coming, right? And then the president did a fantastic job, right? And then you moved around a lot when you were doing this, and you said uh, something about this is very special for me, for the club. Uh, and then um, the point that I'm trying to make is this, that your most important part when you speak is the start. There's no point thanking people. People have all come here for a reason. They've come here because they want to grow. They've come here because they want to hear speeches. They want to come here because they want to get inspired. There's no point trying to say, good morning, good evening. It's a wonderful evening. Great to see you guys. That's a waste of time. And it's an opportunity lost. You could have continued that passion that the president brought in. Not necessarily with a story about perseverance. You could have it in your own story. But you could have taken that to a greater height. Unfortunately, I think it dropped a bit. So maybe you could think about that. It's never about, I think, I think, I think. It's about what you can give them, right? So, think about that. Um, yeah, I mean, just continuing. I, I don't want to continue this misery, but, you know, it, it just went on. I was supposed to give Project A. I wanted to speak. One of the things I liked about, and then you use this phrase, really, really hope, really, really liked, you know, and, um, and then one of the things that MCs have to do is this, just do it. You don't have to tell them. One of the things, one of my roles is this, right? So that's just for your information, but you know what? We've loved what you did. We've always loved you, and um, congratulations. Let's give them a big hand. Hassa's speech and to evaluate that we've got Sham. Sham, could you please come up and give us a speech?